outcome when we have a spiritual upgrade. It feels like we're having a physical downgrade. Do you have these symptoms? Fatigued, lack of motiv motivation, lack of energy, can't focus. You will find your new path. You will get on it. Feeling alienated or isolated, but it's really your choice when you think about it. You can't multitask like you used to. Aches and pains, insomnia, can't sleep, sleep too much. This can be associated with a lot of physical ailments that are very easy to diagnose, either from a practitioner, a naturopath, a doctor, yourself, etc. However, it's also a soul shift and a mind shift. Basically, your body is going into meditation, hibernation, so that there's regeneration. Your soul is basically telling your body that it wants to level up. It wants to become more purified. Therefore, toxins that are within your body, mind, and soul are starting to surface. But the question is, where are those toxins coming from? Are these, are these toxins coming from toxic relationship, toxic job, toxic thinking, toxic environment, toxic ingestions of food, toxic ingestions of ideas and news and too much tabs open on your, on your laptop? I'm guilty of that. So it's going to force your body to rest, relax, chillax, sleep, sit still, not able to focus on more than one thing. It's going to ask your body to sit with the hurt, with the pain, with the nothingness or the everything that is contributing to holding you back from upgrading. It's an adjustment period. It's a transitional time. It's a soul shift. It feels like limbo. It feels like purgatory. But trust me, you are upshifting. You're not downshifting. It doesn't feel like that. While you're in between, I call it the in-between state. But trust me, you will find your new path. You will get on it and you will soar. You don't have to remain in the pain, in the insomnia, in the sleep, in the sadness, in the loneliness. You're not going to be stuck there forever. You're just in an adjustment period. And that's what I help my clients through. I help them make it through as swiftly and accurately as humanly and soulfully possible. AskHollyHall.com